okay dear students so this is professor varun and uh, i hope you all are fine let us see what is there in this question a neutron collides head on with a stationary atom in the moderator of a nuclear power station the kinetic energy of the neutron changes as a result because of the collision there is also a change in probability that this neutron can cause a nuclear fusion what are these changes so there is a, a theory in this a little bit of um, theoretical background I, I tell you what happens inside a nuclear power station see we all know that uranium 235 the enriched uranium it just needs uh, one neutron to create a fission reaction so it needs one neutron but this neutron is known as thermal neutron they, these, these neutrons which cause this kind of a reaction they have been given a new name that is thermal neutron so these are those slow moving neutrons which are able to penetrate into the uranium atom and cause a fission reaction this thermal neutron is a slow moving neutron and the velocity of this is ironically 2.2 kilometers per second well yeah these are slow neutrons we are talking about okay because these are neutrons okay so 2.2 kilometers per second is the velocity of thermal neutron which is able to cause a fission reaction but what happens if the neutron is faster what happens if the neutron is having even higher velocities then what then for example you are trying to catch a ball and the ball is coming at a very high speed towards you and when you try to catch it the ball rebounds out of your hands you're not able to catch the ball the same thing happens in the case of neutrons and uranium atom let us say there is a neutron which is moving at a very fast speed and it hits the uranium but it the neutron just bounce back and it does not create any nuclear reaction any fission reaction there so it's not captured by the uranium atom now if the uranium nuclei is not capturing the neutron the fission reaction will not take place so that is why we use moderator now what is this moderator moderated moderator is just a, a liquid that is filled inside the nuclear power plant what happens in that chamber is there is a fluid there and generally this fluid earlier it used to be heavy water these days there are many new kind of nuclear reactors that are available which are not using heavy water but generally they are using heavy water so the mass of the one molecule of this heavy water that is d2o is chosen in such a way that is why d2o is used okay the mass of this molecule is such that when a neutron collides with this molecule so now let us move to 11th standard elastic collisions because of these elastic collisions some kinetic energy is given to this and the neutron bounce back with a reduced kinetic energy so earlier it is having let us say k1 some energy is given to k2 so what is the kinetic energy left it is k1 minus k2 so now your neutron is having lesser kinetic energy so first of all what is the change in the kinetic energy of neutron it decreases why have we decreased because if it decreases only then the fission reaction can take place now what else change in the probability of causing a nuclear fission so as we all know that the thermal neutron is having higher probability of of getting captured by uranium nuclei so that is why it definitely increases so our answer will be b for this question so dear this is professor varun and this is my youtube channel please subscribe to youtube channel please share the videos with your friends and also please press the bell icon so that you always get a notification whenever i am online all the best bye